<laughs> have produced some rather surprising results. Well, not surprising, but... Confusing. Confusing. After castigating me as a, a widow, a harlot, a fool, a mad woman, anything and everything. Suddenly, shortly after we killed his brother-in-law, Amos Lansing wants to talk. He sent word via an intermediary. Mr. Jones. <sighs> Even that crazy old fool said not to trust any of it. Which is why we need you. You're to help keep Mrs. LeClerc protected during the meeting at Blackwater. I shouldn't imagine they would kill us in broad daylight, but... You never know. I never imagined they'd kill my husband, nor turn me into a fugitive. Anyway, friends, shall we go? Today may go any number of ways, but I want to make sure once the shooting starts, all of them end up dead. One of you drive the wagon, the other keep guard. Thank you. All of you. This means... Well, it means something. I don't know exactly what yet, but... I don't think any of us think Mr. Lansing has become a saint, madam, but, uh... Perhaps we should hear him out. Perhaps. Would you kindly take us to Blackwater? Confess, this is a most strange appointment. Like I said, I would be much more comfortable going as your emissary, ma'am. And I said I wanted to hear what he had to say. Go look him in the eye when he was saying it. Is that all you want? Let's just see. When we get there, you decent folk can stay by my side. Or you can look over the meeting from some vantage point. Remember, this is not just the man who killed my husband. He, his wife, and Jeremiah Shaw all had a hand in putting you away and setting you up for the gallows, too. With that in mind, I hope you trust me to act in all our interests here. Think of your self-interest, too, ma'am. Your safety. I'm sure we're all concerned with that. Oh, Mr. Hawley, I'll be fine. We all shall. It's them who won't. Should things head that way. Just over here. So, the meeting is this way. In the middle of town. Of course. Very good, Mr. Lansing. Tells everyone he's the boss now. Keeps me from acting too crazy. You can hide up on the roofs or stay down here. Just make sure... Get killed. Just make sure if we do get killed, everyone dies. No. Take this. I'll be back. <laughs> Let's go. Well, hello, darling. Good to see you, Mr. Lanson. You too. Jessica! How lovely to see you. Why, it's been a, a long... long time? No, it hasn't. Not compared with all the eternity. Oh, Jessica, I miss Philip every day. Awful what happened to him. Quite terrible, but you seem... 
My dear, you seem under the misapprehension that I had something to do with his demise. You, your wife, or your business partner, at least one of you did, and your brother-in-law. But he's dead. Well, he was a bad man. I'm glad he was killed. Sure. It cleans up your mess, doesn't it? You don't seem quite well, my dear. I'm not. I am destroyed with grief. Oh, of course. Yeah, life can be terrible, but... Well, there is a business matter that we need to discuss. Mm, oh, sure there is. Well, you see, he and I had an agreement. In the event one of us dying, the other took control of the business in exchange for a nominal sum. Oh, you lie, sir. Who signed? Last year. The document lies with Mr. Shaw there. He also has your money. Five hundred dollars. My husband's property was worth a hundred times that. You thief! You murderous thief! Madam Leclerc, I will ask you to watch your manners. Uh, I have good standing in this town. Oh, you do, do you? I am a man of impeccable morality. Oh, well, then you have little to fear of death. You god-awful swine! <laughs> Chase down Shaw, and some of you can stay with Mrs. Leclerc. Make your choices quick. Give me the papers. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. A forged. Yes, forged! Get the hell out of my sight, you pathetic lowlife. All right, better go rescue Mrs. Leclerc. More coming. We should meet the others. You dig the 